there's a glimmer of hope in the Flint School District. Administrators say they may not have to close another elementary school as previously planned. This comes as enrollment numbers are stabilizing. NBC 25's Waller Smith Randolph picks up our continuing coverage from the district headquarters at Flint. Walter, do we know which school might be saved? Yeah, Bill, we don't know which one just yet because this is all preliminary information. The district spokesman tells me they're still crunching numbers, but with an increased student count, they may avoid closing yet another school this year. Meantime, parents are taking a sigh of relief, hoping the numbers shake out. Monica Moten has a third grader at Pierce Elementary School. I hope they can find a way to keep the schools open for the younger students. Not knowing if her child's school will stay open from year to year, causing headaches. You don't know if you have to relocate. You know, it's a big decision when schools close down. In previous years, Flint losing up to 1,200 students per year. Now, district officials say those numbers stabilizing hopefully saving another school. Our February count was up 44 students in the K through 12, uh, so that's a positive sign. But Smith warns plans not ironed out just yet. They're still waiting on end of the year numbers. Once we get those numbers, there'll be more planning. We thought was going to be school closings, at least two elementaries and a, and a high school. But if it's not, then that's exciting. It's put a smile on my face. Back live now, Bill. The whole reason why we're talking about this is because interim superintendent Larry Watkins made a comment at last night's board meeting about possibly not having to close another school. We weren't able to catch up with the superintendent today. As for the district finances, there's still $10 million in the red and owe the Genesee Intermediate School District $8 million. For now, reporting live from district headquarters in Flint, Walter Smith Randolph, NBC 25 News. Bill.